Hey guys, I want to talk about something that can improve the developer experience of the BMAT method when you try to roll it out for in repositories that multiple people use uh, or generally rolling it out in an organization. So let's first install BMAT. So right now I am not using NPX install, I am using a local install for the um, V6 alpha. So there I have the V6 alpha been checked out. I'll pull it. Okay, and then I will install BMAT. And then I want to install this into this BMAT test folder. Right? So paste that in. And then yes, yes, yes. Call me BMAT or whatever, it doesn't matter. Language English, these things don't matter. BMAT test folder is okay. I don't know anything, let's say. This doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Looks like Brian added something cool for the Playwright MCFP capabilities I added, like auto healing and stuff. Basically, like all the Playwright goodies they came up with have been integrated into test architect. So let's say cloud code cursor and context elder, okay? Install sub agents, okay, at project level, CLI is fine. Okay. So right now this is not a Git repository, but let's say if it was a Git repository, this BMAT, just this BMAT change here in this empty folder, 66,000 change, right? And it, all it did is install these things. I, uh, okay, so what we want to do then is like, okay, Usually what we do is um, we say for individual BMAT users, hey, like maybe like add this to git ignore, right? If you add this to git ignore, this is the first thing, uh, which is fine, I guess, sometimes. The cloud works with it. Uh, if you use like get to invoke cloud and hit the BMAT agents. Uh, but Windsor, for instance, doesn't see git ignore files. And even when you have a that code you need ignore file to unignore the BMAT related things, it can still act out. Like I have generally I did not have success, but maybe I really things change. I haven't tried it since it failed, right? So it's kind of inconvenient to install BMAT if multiple people in a repository are going to use it because they will all have to install it, they will all have to get ignore it, which is kind of a pain. And if you don't want that, then you have to check in 66,000 file changes and you will have to try to convince your colleagues that that's a, not a harmful thing, which it isn't, but it also comes with inconvenience. Like if you search for something, if it's a generic term, it's going to hit all the BMAT related things and you're going to have to configure some VS code settings or ID settings so that it doesn't get indexed in the research uh, search. So it requires lots of workarounds and not a pleasurable developer experience. All right. So I thought, or in fact, my colleague recommended Danny. Uh, Danny, Danny. I, 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 I forgot his last name. Sorry. <laughs> but then Danny recommended, my colleague recommended. Um, yeah, let's let's do like some modules, right? So all we need is this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try to set it up without. I installed BMAT then in a empty repository, just installed like V6 Alpha. And then I have some instructions. So you know, git submodule and then this repo and then whatever you want to name this submodule at your repository, right? So I can close this. Let's try it then. So that repo and then I'm gonna name it BMAT submodule. So it does its thing. Second step, just init and update. Git submodule init, git submodule update, right? And Pretty much that's all you need. Now it's set up. Now it's set up, but everything goes into the BMAT sub module, right? So instead of the repo root, um, let's see if it works with. So the slash commands work with WinSurf, looks like, which is surprising. Usually WinSurf is the one I have trouble with. Uh, let's see if it works with Cloud. GMM, BMAT, yeah. So Usually uh, cloud is 
off method with uh, slash commands, but it seems like they are kind of lazy with this. So what we'll do is uh, just add call it BMM folder agents and then add the agents we want to work with, right? Perhaps when my fellow contributors at BMAT, when they see this, they might think of an idea, hey, like, how do we make our code still work when uh, BMAT is installed in a sub module? We can always do the at markdown file thing, looks like that's working. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty okay way to like, try to roll out BMAT in your organization and like only two changes, right? The only changes that register here are is the git modules file. Right? And then it says, hey, there's a sub module here named that. So it kind of knows that there's going to be something there, like a bookmark, but none of the content of the BMAT framework is included in the PR. So it yeah, makes a 60K PR into two files. That's all I wanted to share. Thanks.